Evanston, Illinois, a leafy suburb of Chicago. There sits a building cloaked in mystery, a brick cube with an undulating facade that moves and transforms as you walk past it. You're not really sure when you look at the front of the house that it's actually a house because there's, not, there's nothing house-like about that front wall. It's beautiful, it's geometric, but it's not traditionally residential. The building, you're able to see through it at points, but as you move, it will literally close up. I'm trying to think how, how, best, to how best to express it. In some ways, it's like cloaked or not there, so it's there and it's not there. <laughs> Um. The facade is so mesmerizing that it's been known to stop cars in their tracks. So, as a safety message, we ask that you do not look at the brick facade. You do not look at the owner getting a drink of water. You do not look at the full height glass facing a private courtyard. You do not look at the floating tub in the master bathroom. You do not look at the walls that conceal cabinets. You do not look at the sweet stair detail. And you definitely do not look at the cat, Uzi. Many people are stopped in their tracks just looking at the brick screen. They find it so interesting and unique. I guess it's mysterious. People, when they drive down the street, they sort of do a little double take because they can't see through it, and then they can. And so they stop their car, and they look, and then they back up, and they pull forward, and back up, and, you know, like they're trying to see through the building before they take off. <laughs> So, as an unsolved mystery, we leave Evanston, Illinois, never quite knowing what we saw or why we came.